going on Blossom is back and welcome back to the channel for another episode of what you can get from that pack Obviously in this series what happens is well We have a carbon fiber pack and I review it for you I run through all the statistics how many ultras you can get or uh, what percentage of the ultras are RQ22 All that kind of good stuff and obviously the rules are the same I only show you the non prize cars so obviously the cars that you can get and uh, Yeah, I will only be showing ultras and above so no super rares nothing like that Anyway, the pack in question today, the pack that we want to review, which, you know, I possibly, oh, no, never mind, we'll have to sit through the defeat screen first, uh, but this pack is indeed the Motorsport Carbon Fiber, as we can see right here. Uh, I, I still wish that this kinda got a picture of its own. Like, I wish all the packs got a picture of their own. Like, instead of just top secret testing uh, and then having like something that looks like a Le Mans Audi in the front. I, I don't even know what car that is, okay? <laughs> don't, don't get mad at me. Like, if you know what car it is, you can tell me, you can tell me in the comments below. I, I think it's like some kind of Le Mans Audi. Um, but instead of just putting a top secret testing pack, like kind of, kind of give it the same treatment as you give the 2018 pack, right? Give it its own picture. And uh, if they were going to make a motorsport car carbon fiber picture, it would be interesting to see what car they would put if they made it, you know, unique. Like, what car would you guys want? Personally, I would love, I think, a Porsche RSR. Porsche RSR and that would look absolutely fantastic. Anyway, this is the pack in question, and I think this is one of the best packs in the game. Truly, it has no RQ30s, but I still think it's one of the best, uh, best packs in the game. So with that said, let's get into the review and see what you can get from this pack. Okay, so we start off with the ultra rare ranks. Um, so in total, there are 16 ultras that you can get from the Motorsport Carbon Fiber. Uh, only one is RQ19, which makes 6%. So if you do get the one singular RQ19, which is indeed the Opal Atom, which in my opinion is a great car, then yeah, you'll have a 6% of getting that. RQ20, there are three RQ20s you can get from the pack, which makes up 19% of all the ultras. RQ21, there are five of them, which makes up 31%. And then RQ22, there are seven. So if we just kind of, there are more RQ22s than RQ21s or RQ20s or RQ19s basically, uh, just not combined. Uh, but yeah, RQ7 is almost the majority of the pack, making up 44%. And I have to say, the cars, the ultras you can get in this are actually very, very good. So we start with the Opal Atom R2. This is our only RQ19 and it's in a very niche category of off-road front wheel drive. Now, my off-road front wheel drive hand is very weak because all the off-road front wheel drive cars I have are super rares and you know how I feel about super rares I hate them I hate maxing them out I think it's a waste of money I think it's a scam it's making me use all my rares I don't want to use my rares because I want to sell them and put it in my cash pile my stockpile of cash for pack openings uh, so yeah I hate super rares I hate maxing them out uh, so I would love to max out this uh, ultra if I do ever get it I know some people might think I'm crazy it's like wait ultras are more expensive than super rares I can talk about this all day I Ultra rares are more expensive than max out than super rares, but in my opinion are just so much more justifiable because ultra rares are just better cars and I'm not wasting rares to max it out. I don't know. That's that's how I feel about it But uh, Opal Adam R2 is the only RQ19 you can get now moving on is the Volkswagen Golf GTI TCR Now obviously I've covered this pack on the channel before but however that was like three updates ago This was like one of the first ever packs I ever reviewed in my what you can get series So this pack has changed a lot since I first uh reviewed it um so rq21 this used to be i don't know why it's 20 it's an amazing car still on my wish list it was on my german renaissance wish list when gr came out i still don't have it which is surprising for an ultra uh but the, the the volkswagen golf gti tcr is an amazing amazing car max it out it will go to like 4.4 0 to 16 maybe even less than that maybe 4.3 but i know it hits 95 handling moving on is the peugeot 205 t16 this is probably like the only bad one you can get like the only bad ultra i think let's check the next one it's the ford sierra rs 500 in my opinion is a good car um i was i was running through all the 1980 ultra rares rear wheel drive and the ford sierra rs 500 is actually very impressive uh, because I think I had the Roof Turbo 3.3. This was before the PL11.11 .11 whatever, or the PL11.1 .1, like RQ changes, where the Roof Turbo 3.3 got a slight MRA buff. 
Uh, but with that said, the Sierra caught my eye when I was looking for its competition because the Sierra seemed to be the best of its class. I'm not sure if it's still the best of its class with the 3.3 uh, upgrade, but the Sierra RS500 is a really great car. It has decent MRA, uh, handling is good, I'm pretty sure, 99% sure it's medium. Uh, 0 to 60 is a little weak, but it's not bad, so if I got this, I would max it out. I would keep it for sure. Uh, moving on now, we're in the RQ21 range. We start off with the Opa Cor Corsa Super 1600. This was a great substitute in the Bugatti Chiron finals for tier 1. Okay, this was in tier 1 hands. It was a great substitute if you did not have uh, the Vokes, not the Volkswagen, Land Rover V8 Works, or even the Bentley Bentayga. Uh, I had, there were a couple people in my top 10 in my Bugatti Chiron uh, final bracket uh, that was actually rolling around in this bad boy, and it was really, really good. Once again, hits about 95 handling, 0 to 60 of under 5 seconds, off-road tires as well. Very impressive car. Would love to get it if I opened the pack. Moving on is the Nissan Silvia 240RS. I got this recently, right before the Roof CTR3. Um, you know how I feel about this car. I don't really like this car. Although it's strong, it's just not as good as the Escort and the 924. Um, obviously, it has lost a lot of races for me, but that was because the first time I got the Silvia, I 699'd it, because um, <clears throat> I used to think that 699 was better, and it is, just, not on off-road tires, so uh, that kind of messed me up a bit. I might actually sell my maxed out Silvia 240RS at a 699 since I got a second one, which I can finally 969, and then maybe it'll be a bit more competent. We'll see. Uh, but moving on is the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 1. Uh, nothing much to say about this car. Very light, four-wheel drive, medium, good handling. It's a great city streets car. Uh, moving on is the Aston Martin DB3S. I love it so much, I took a screenshot of it twice. No, wait, never mind, I screenshotted it once. I thought I took a screenshot of it twice. <laughs> that was a bit awkward, because the next car we saw was the Alpha. Uh, 170 top speed, 4.80 to 60, 80 handling. It's on my wish list for GE cars. Uh, it has 88 MRA, close to 89. Uh, moving on, you already saw a glimpse of this, was the Alfa Romeo Alfetta GT Rally version. Uh, one of the weaker off-road cars as well. Uh, I mean, 6278, let's compare it to the Silvia, alright? 4981, like, okay, this one's overrated for sure. So honestly, all the cars we've seen in Ultra so far, I think the only ones where I would be disappointed to get would be the Peugeot and this Alpha Alfetta. However, with that being said, it is a very niche category in terms of Italian off-road. There are not a lot of them, so this one might come in handy. However, there is a better Italian off-roader, which is the Lancia 037, which we'll see in a bit. Uh, when we move on to the Subaru Impreza WRX. Now, this is a great pack because I feel like it brings some of, some of all the best race cars from each brand that has them. But then they also throw in every single Subaru and Mitsubishi in the game. Uh, which is, you know, the Mitsubishis, the Epic Mitsubishis are actually really, really good. But the Subarus, the Epic Subarus, no, they're not good. And this one, it, it got a buff, you know, it, it doesn't have a really crappy 0-60 to anymore. But then, you know, since it got a buff in its 0-60, it had a nerf in its MRA. It's just, uh, to me, it's one of the weaker RQ22s, in my opinion. But if I got it, I wouldn't be super disappointed, but I would fuse it. So yeah, I guess that makes it three cars I would be disappointed to get. Uh, moving on to the Porsche 924 Carrera GTS Rally. Uh, still an amazing car, although it got its top speed chopped off. It's still an amazing car. Uh, great handling, medium ground clearance, uh, 5.70 to 60. It's, a, it's amazing. I would love to have five Porsche 924 Rally GTSs. Moving on is the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 4. It's just a better version of the 1. Uh, once again, it's kind of just an elevated version of the 1. It's still strong in the same sections where the 1 is strong in. Medium, light, four-wheel drive, great handling. It's just better. And it has more tags. Year of the Rat, Street Racer, and Motorsport, which is insane. I love this car. Uh, moving on is the Lancia 037 Rally, which is the better version of the Alfetta. Uh, 4.80 to 60, 81 handling. In fact, it has very similar stats to the Silvia. Huh. Uh, but yeah, Italian Renaissance, Motorsport, and it's a great looking car. Moving on is the Ford RS200. This is, you know, Eric's dream, even though he has one already, congrats. Uh, 4.80 to 60, 81 handling, uh, 142, four wheel drive, low, however, not medium, low ground clearance, but also has strong MRA. It's a really great car, this, really, really great car. Now, moving on, we have Derek's wish list, number one wish list probably for the ultra rare ranks, and that is the Ford Escort Rally Smack. 120, top speed, 4.92 to 60, 82 handling, roll wheel drive, medium ground clearance, and it's super, super light. It's like the best off-roader for slalom. It kind of just wiggles through there, like, better than nobody else. Uh, no car 
else. Uh, moving on is the Abarf 030. Wow. Really, guys, just look at the selection. It's a great selection of cars. I mean, every single RQ22 is a keeper besides that Subaru WRX, in my opinion. Uh, I, I can't see why people would like that car, though. It, it does have its strengths, but in my opinion, not my favorite. Uh, 170 top speed, 4.80 to 60, amazing handling. Uh, slick tires as well. I have this maxed out 699, 4.0, 0 to 60, 95 handling. I think I've already put it. I think this thing has already gone through like a thousand races for me. I would love five of them as well. Anyway, those are all the ultras. Let's move on to the epics and let me run through the statistics review real quick. There are 18 epics you can get from this pack, excluding prize cars. RQ23, four of them, which makes up 22% of the pack. There are three RQ24s, which, make, which makes up 17% of the pack, and seven RQ25s, which is the majority. There are more RQ25s than there are RQ26s or 24s or 23s. There are seven of them, which makes up 39% of the pack, and there are four RQ26s, which makes up 22% of the pack. Same with 23, because there are four of them as well. So let me just run through with them real quick. A lot of them are, you know, kind of be just eh. Uh, Mitsubishi Lancer Evo is eh, uh, Mercedes AMG CLK DTM, uh, Lancer Stratus, I don't know how I feel about this car, once again it's in that very niche category of Italian Renaissance off-roaders, and I think it's stronger than the 924 Rally, but it is again an epic, and that means it's 10 times harder to max out. Um, but yeah, I don't know how I feel about this car. Uh, if I got it, I would keep it though. It does look pretty decent. Uh, it doesn't have... What, does it have better handling than the 924? I don't know. Let's have a real, let's have a real check, okay? 5483. 5483. So it's 0 .3, 0 0.4 seconds faster, but has two less handling. And it's probably low. I don't know, but it's, it probably looks really light as well. It looks like a great car, nonetheless. Uh, it doesn't look like it has better handling, though, so interesting to see. Uh, moving on is the Abarv 124 Spider Rally. Used to be RQ24, but I guess it got moved down. Uh, 3.985 slick tires, probably really light. Uh, and then moving on is the Subaru. So we have the Subaru Impreza WRX STI, Subaru Impreza WRX STI, the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo X FQ300, the Subaru WRX STI. <laughs> I've said this so many times. I don't know why this is RQ25. It used to be 24, and it recently got upgraded, and I don't know. The fact that you're telling me that this has the same RQ as this, the 911 RSR, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think that Subaru is just, I think Subaru, that Subaru especially, is just overrated. Um, but Porsche 911 Carrera RSR, this is the bad boy that you want to get. 179 top speed, 3.90 to 60, 89 handling, I mean. God, that is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful car. And I'm so happy I got this from a random ceramic back in New York. I, I have, I love it. <laughs> I have it maxed out, 99 handling. I think it's like 3.2, 3.10 to 60. It's it's super low. No, actually it's 3.3. I, I think it's 3.3. Uh, but still, it's, it's a really, really good car. Moving on, Mitsubishi Lancer Evo, uh, FQ340. I, I, I intentionally just jumped over the Greek numerals there. Uh, but yeah, uh, amazing picture. I love it. Moving on to Mitsubishi Lancer Evo VI. Yeah, yeah, I, it's, yeah, I can't read. Uh, TM edition. Uh, used to be RQ26, is now 25. I think this is a solid RQ25 car, honestly. Uh, it was it was overrated for an RQ26, definitely RQ25. I feel like that Subaru Impreza that we saw, it was RQ25. It's gonna get the same treatment. Hutch is gonna realize, oh, we made a mistake, that car is overrated, it's gonna go back to 24. Uh, but moving on is a Jaguar XJS TWR. Huge fan of this one. I would love this car. Amazing MRA on it as well. Amazing handling too, 88. Uh, moving on to Jaguar XJ13, 3.685. Uh, it, it had a nicer picture. It got its picture changed. The one before, in my opinion, was a lot nicer. I don't know why they changed it. Uh, but the BMW M3 CRT is the next one we can get. Uh, moving on is the RQ26 is now. It's the TBR Tuscan race car. This is an amazing one. 3.989. Very similar to the RSR. In fact, I think it's exactly the same as the RSR, just a higher top speed and probably better MRA. Yeah, no, this thing is an amazing MRA. Uh, moving on to the Banana. Yes, the Banana. You can tell some very, very good cars when you have the RSR, the TVR, and the Banana in the same pack. It's, it's, a, it's amazing. 3.789 MRA of like 100. This thing is amazing. 
Uh, it's a French car, but I have to say it's it's very very impressive. And how many people are in this picture? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen people in the picture. Probably more than that. Oh my god. Okay, just realized that. Anyway, moving on to Mitsubishi Lancer Evo X, also another Mitsubishi on my wish list, and the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo iX. I think that's nine. Uh, MRFQ360, uh, very long name. Also, I have two of these. One is maxed out, and I think one I have the other. I have the handling maxed out. It's an amazing, amazing car. Uh, now, moving on to the legendary. So let me just tell you the stats. And once again, in terms of epics, I would say half are good and half are bad. But at the end of the day, it is epics. You're, you're most likely gonna get an ultra rare. Um, to be realistic, and all the ultra rares are well, most of the ultra rares, but like three or four are amazing. Uh, three or four out of 13. Uh, I mean out of 16 ultras, but Legendaries in total you can get 13 of them uh, Four are RQ27, which is 31% four are RQ28, which is 31% five is 29 which is 38% and Zero is RQ30, which is 0% So one of the only bad things about the pack is that there are no RQ30s But you know the legendaries you can get from this pack will make up for it We started with the Opal Cadet Rally probably the best off-road GE car in the game uh, moving on is the Porsche 917. Woo! This is a nice car. Super high top speed, super low 0 to 60, high handling. It's great. It's a 70s car too. I mean, if you're gonna, you're gonna kill any 70s event with this car. Uh, anyway, moving on to Lancer Delta HF Integrale, one of the best Italian Renaissance off-roaders. Uh, moving on to Jaguar XGR15, amazing MRA on this thing, but I think that's the only thing that has that this car has. The handling is not that good. Uh, moving on is the Nissan R390, 3.90 uh, to 60, 90 handling, and an MRA from hell. This car is great. I think I have a friend that has it maxed out. John, you have this maxed out, right? I'm not sure. I think you do. Uh, but yeah, I mean, maxed out looks like it has like what 3.3 0 to 60 99 handling, most likely, and like MRA of a million. Uh, but one of the best, uh, well, it is the best drag uh, Japanese car in the game, but one of the best Japanese cars in the game as well. Uh, moving on to Lancia Monte Carlo Turbo. I personally own this car and I think it's amazing. 105 MRA on this, amazing handling as well. It's a Lamborghini killer uh, in anything that doesn't involve rain. Uh, moving on to the Lancia ECV, just 0.1 seconds slower than the Demon stock. Uh, you know, it doesn't have a lot of MRA, but it does have handling and it does have four-wheel drive. And it does have four uh, performance tires as well, so you can use it in the rain. Look at that. Uh, moving on to the Lancia Delta HF Integrale. Literally, literally, this pack is just all the best Lancias. Um, 3.7, 88 handling. It's nice. It's like all the best. Yeah, it's because it's every single legendary Lancia besides the, the one Lancia that's not that good. The, the performance tire, the zero Stratos, whatever. Uh, but anyway, moving on to Porsche 962C. One of the best legendaries in the game. It has aged like a fine wine. Like I said, you know, there's been so many updates since I last reviewed this pack, but the 962C is, is still up there with some of the best, uh, just the best legendaries in the game. 2.7, 95, 251 top speed, rear wheel drive, slick tires, and I mean an MRA of over a million, two billion, three billion, a trillion. I don't know, it's, it's amazing. Uh, moving on, and here are the new boys. The McLaren 720S GT3, the 650S GT3, and the 12C GT3. 2995, 2996, and 2997. That's crazy! Uh, and then we finally end with 2995, the Bentley Continental GT3. So, some very, very strong cars. If you missed out on the BMW M8 GTE, or if you are going to miss out on the Mazda 787B, don't feel too bad because if you open this pack and get literally any of these top cars, any of the RQ29s, you, you basically just canceled out one for one, honestly, because these are some really strong cars of amazing handling, amazing MRA, and just game changers, really. Uh, and really, this is why this makes the pack so good. So, in general, my personal review of the Motorsport Carbon Fiber. Now, now, should you open the pack, uh, this Motorsport Carbon Fiber? Yes, I think you should. I think this is one of the best packs in the game. It has no RQ30, but let me tell you about the strengths once again. Really strong ultras, which is the majority of what you might get. Uh, really strong legendaries, and like the epics are like 50 50. So the only time you can get a bad pull is if you get really unlucky with the ultras and get like the Peugeot or like the Subaru 
or like the alpha but even though honestly the alpha alpha is like decent like in its category since it's so niche uh but yeah i mean it's it's a great pack you know most of the ultras are great all of the legendaries are absolutely amazing game changers are rq 29ers uh the higher rq the rq 26 and 25 epics are great it's a great pack it's a great pack so should you open it yes am i going to open it i'm thinking about it i'm thinking about it i want to save my gold but i'm i'm gonna think about it uh but with that said i hope you guys enjoyed this video consider subscribing and we're really really close to 3,000 subscribers so really excited for that and of course i'm going to release the winners i haven't selected them yet but we will choose the winners of my triple carbon giveaway anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you all next time blossom out